Thanks very much. Let's go to James Pindle now with the next question for Ms. Garcia. Ms. Garcia, when President Barack Obama took office, we were headed towards what we thought was going to be a second Great Depression. But now we are in 2014. Unemployment is steadily dropping. Housing, housing prices are going back up. The stock market is hitting some records for the S&P and also with the Dow. Explain why the economy under President Obama is bad for America. Well, you look at, frankly, some of his largest initiatives. He hasn't worked on entitlement reform. What has he focused his attention on? Small, trivial types of issues, and then, again, taking over one-sixth of our economy. Now, I don't know about you, but when I talk to people, be they individual citizens, be they business owners, be they health care consumers, they can't afford, they don't feel as though the economy is better because if you're a senior, you found that Medicare Advantage under Obamacare it, here in the second district has been cut by $2,400 per senior. You find that all of a sudden you're going to be fined if you don't purchase health insurance that doesn't necessarily meet your unique needs. You find you have to lay off some of your employees. You can't expand your company because you can't afford to cover their health insurance anymore. So I think the president has in fact put something into motion, which will be extremely destructive to our economy, particularly, of course, in health care, but overall in the long term. Mr. Lambert, are things getting better? Uh, not from what I hear out there, James. Uh, the folks I hear, they're, they're so stuck. They're struggling. They're struggling with the 15th and the 30th of the month when the paychecks come in. Uh, Obamacare is crushing a lot of folks out there, both employers and employees. It's thrown health care costs through the roof or deductibles and premiums. It's reduced access. So now folks are really struggling with the economy, and now they might have to travel twice as far to get to the doctor that they want to get to. Look, we've got, what we've got to do is lower taxes, both for individuals and corporations. We've got to get rid of the regulations that are out of control with respect to businesses so they can hire more people, get more people back to work, and we can get this economy going again. That's what's going to get it going. Uh, under the current administration, it's just not working for most folks out there. What are you seeing out there, Mr. Lawrence? You know, as a small business owner, I, I would have to say that I don't believe the federal government has done a lot to help our economy. You know, this overregulation that they have on small business currently, it is preventing small businesses in Ma on Main Street America from being able to create jobs, pay the employees that they currently have a, a, a living wage, and it's also stifling economic growth. You know, as a small business owner, I'd be prepared to go to Washington and fight for the small businesses of Main Street because I understand that those small businesses are the economic engine that could drive the American economy up. I'd also like to add that we talk about whether this administration or whether President Barack Obama has helped our economy. Well, I just saw unemployment figures recently that showed that New Hampshire hasn't recovered back to 2009 levels. I don't view that as progress. Uh, you, how about